Hello guys, welcome to Easy TV uh, presents Tech View in the episode. Uh, today I will discuss about um, how to conf um, uh, how to configure um, iDrac on Dell uh, Dell Coverage Server, Rack Server, or whatever. So Dell for remote for remote access, Dell use um, iDrac and HP use uh, iLo. And some other system like Amber Vendor, they call it um, ICAM or something. Sorry, I'm not ICAM, uh, IPMI. Um, so today, actually, we're going to see uh, how you can configure uh, iDRAC on a, a rack mount server or, or any kind of Dell server. So I'm going to share my screen and quickly. Okay, right. Share my screen. All right. And so this is my server actually. All right, so basically this is my server. As um, now I just powered on. So whenever you have a brand new machine uh, in your environment, and the first thing is you need to configure iDrac. So whenever you have an iDrac, so through the iDrac you can easily uh, log in and you can install everything from remote, like ESXi or any other operating system. So the first thing is we have to configure iDRAC. For iDRAC configuration, you have to follow here uh, F2 for system setup. So you have to hit F2 quickly. So I hit F2, that's why it says entering system setup. Now we just have to wait. Take a little bit of time. All right. So it says system bio setup, iTech setup. So right now our turn is to go iTech setup, right? So we'll just select the iTech and hit enter. And then iTech settings is in summary. And then you have to go to the networks, network option because you, you want to configure the network, right? So just click the network. And from there, you have to find out actually um, so I can do for address. You have to just uh, press the down arrow key from your keyboard. Down, down, down. So IPv4, here I did that IPv4 settings is enabled. And DSCB is disabled. Make sure DSCB is disabled, then you, you have your own IP address, you can assign it. And if it is DSCB is uh, enabled, that means um, IP will be assigned automatically through the router. And this is not recommended to have a DSCB enabled IP address on your IP. So try to do it as a static. So how are you gonna do that? It's very simple. You just need to and here you just need to remove, remove, and type. And I have already just I'm, I'm just showing you guys. I have already there. You just need to select the enter and remove it and type it. That's it. And then uh, static subnet mask. So you can put your subnet mask and also your paper DNS. And same way, double. This is the same way. 
just need to remove it and type in. All right, let's press it. Enter. And so, for example, this one I'm going to change it to four or 30 or 50. Now, before I assign 15, let me check. In my environment, in my environment I have. Uh, any system which is already using 15. So let me check. So, server. Yes. So we can turn So this right. So nothing comes up, right? But if you check. 11 is not should be right? because 11 is already a digesting one. All right, so just for showing you guys, I'm just changing this to 50. So that means my IP is changed, right? And the same way, whatever if you need, you can just change the data, but my default get with this, my IP. So it must be two by four, two by two by So I want to change it to be. I want to everything is similar. So after you've done what you have to do, you have to hit add, uh, escape button and then and escape. And then it says settings have been changed. Do you want to save the change? And say yes. Yes is selected by default. So yes. So you are done. Okay. So your IDEX setup is done, right? Are you sure you want to exit from this and reboot this yes? So the system is rebooting. That means you are done from here. Now, if you want to connect with your, okay, let's check again. Fifteen levels will be fine. All right, now we can check. Ten dot fifteen. Ten dot fifteen. Right. Then. TL, DIN, Kelvin is the default password. I didn't change this. Whenever you log in the default one, or you know this is the default, you can just search in Google what is the default password for IDREC or root. Root user. That is it. And when I log with uh, default password, it was asking me do I want to change it. But this is my home lab, so I don't need to. I just have to access to the default. Um, but I'll any command. If you set it up, uh, I got for your organization, you should change it. All right. So, yeah, I'm logging. I'm logging to. I'm logging to uh, either. So that's all. Um, that's all that today. I want to show you guys. Uh, and if my video help you like if it is helpful for you just give me a big thumbs up and so if you don't subscribe yet my channel please subscribe uh, and of course don't forget to click the bell icon to get my next video thank you thanks for watching